Carolina Forest hit the practice fields early this morning, anxious to begin preparations for the season. Drew Hummel's team has gotten a lot of preseason buzz. The Panthers and schools across the area will ease into workouts before putting on the pads in a few days. First three days, you know, without contact, you know, you're concentrating on installation and things. But we haven't had too much to install. We've done most of that during the summer. And so we've kind of come out here day one hitting it. And now, now it's time to polish it up. St. James couldn't wait to get started. The Sharks hit the field precisely at the stroke of midnight to begin their summer practice. The Sharks have a new head man in Mark Fisher, who was grateful to have a crowd of a couple of hundred welcome his team to the 2011 season. This is for the kids, you know, and it's for the community. It's just something different, you know. I mean, everybody gets up on the first day of practice and, and goes out there and kind of, you know, sweating in the heat. Well, this is just something different. WPDE's high school football preview tour begins on Monday with 34 stops leading up to the season premiere of the Chevy End Zone on August 19th. You can see where your hometown team preview will air by logging on to CarolinaLive.com, the internet home of our high school football coverage. We'll have 2011 schedules plus highlight reels from over 100 returning players. And News Channel 15's Mark Haggard goes one-on-one -on -one with the top players in the area, breaking down film and talking football in Hag's Film Lab. This is a certain part of the building on Wednesdays. A lot of people don't know this. You have steak. Yeah. That's um, that's our reward for winning. We I got, mean, every time you win, yeah. that's that's what we get. You get steak. Yes. And I call it steak view because you win so much. Yeah. But lately, sometimes that plate's empty on Wednesday. What do you get on Wednesday if you lose? You don't really get anything, nothing at all. <laughs> There's usually a backer over them, and that gets the backer out of the play and throw it right behind them to the post curl. Throughout August, we'll go in-depth getting ready for the upcoming season and learn more about the Friday Night Stars on the gridiron. That's the nickname my grandma named me. Why did your grandmother name you Pig? Because I guess my brother named Hog, so she named me Pig. Again, I guess we was living on the farm at the time. And it works? Yes, sir. You're comfortable with it. I'm comfortable with it. Now you run like a pop belly pig or what's the deal? I don't run like no pop belly. I run like flash off Incredibles. <laughs>